Marco Rubio just wrecked Michelle Obama with one powerful photo. We all make mistakes. There is no doubt about that. However, Democrats seem to have a repeating habit of going out of their way to make outlandish statements in an attempt to prove a non-existent point. Former First Lady Michelle Obama decided that she was going to try to inject race into a non-racial topic. Her attack was aimed at the GOP in particular and their overabundance of white men. According to Independent Journal Review, she said, physically, there's a difference in color, in the tone. Because one side, all men, all white. On the other side, some women, some people of color. Marco Rubio decided that he had had enough and put up some pictures of the diverse members of the GOP to show how false Obama's statements were. Obama has received harsh backlash for her comments about lack of diversity in the GOP. Namely, because she seems to be the only one talking about race and gender. In the world of identity politics, skills and experience apparently mean nothing. All that seemingly matters is having a colorful staff. Michelle's speech took place at a Pennsylvania conference for women. She started trying to make her point by saying, on one side of the room, it's literally gray and white. Literally, that's the color palette on one side of the room. On the other side of the room, there are yellows and blues and whites and greens. It is unclear how those colors relate to the color of human beings, as she went on to say one side of the room is all men, all white. GOP member Marco Rubio, a first-generation American whose parents came from Cuba, decided that enough was enough. He tweeted an image with himself and GOP Senator Tim Scott, who is the first black senator from the Deep South since Reconstruction. The picture also included Nikki Haley, who also happens to be the first female Indian American governor in U.S. history. As a caption to the image, he wrote probably a good time to use let me rephrase that. Rubio was one of many to call Obama out on her outlandish statements. Governor Bobby Jindal shared the story on Twitter with the caption um, followed by a link to Michelle Obama's speech. Diane Black followed up with her response, which humorously was, um, x2. It is important to note that Diane is a female. Rubio reminds Michelle O that GOP is quite diverse. Is identity politics more important than qualifications? Ronna McDaniel elaborated on Obama's statement by saying, Unfortunate Michelle would disregard contributions of conservative women and people of all backgrounds with one sweeping false accusation. Sadly, these are the times we live in. Michelle Obama apparently feels like she is qualified to make, as McDaniel said, sweeping false accusations because of her gender and skin color and put aside the contributions of so many people of diverse nationalities, backgrounds, and skin color. This is unacceptable behavior. As a country, we need to start looking at individuals and their behavior, not groups. Ironically, Obama's remarks were a generalization about an entire group of people based on the color of their skin, which most would call racism.